Uh, no, nah, it should be all right. Obviously, they're not at home relaxing too much. They've been playing the one-day international series against the West Indies. So they've all played a lot of cricket in the last uh, three or four months, which is good for us, um, test series and then one-day series. So, um, no, they should have enough time to prepare um, the three-day match and then the first test match. So, um, no, I think they'll be OK. More than the Watson's batting position as well? Yeah, I'm not 100%, yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not 100 percent sure where where what will bat or where the top order will will go. Obviously, yeah, we've got Phil and um, Shane, and obviously Usman and Ed, who have all opened the batting for Australia, which I think is a good thing. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure um, what combination we'll go with. That's probably for Michael and the selectors to work out. But um, whoever they go with will do a great job, I'm sure. Do you think it'll be even? Yeah, obviously, you know, I saw a little bit of the England series, and I think in the last test especially, the England quick bowlers took a lot of the wickets. So, um, you know, we've got a great um, fast bowling attack, to be honest. Um, you know, we've got Sidzi and, and Jimmy Pattinson, Mitchell Stark, um, Mitchell Johnson. So we've got a lot of quick bowlers, um, along with a couple of spinners. So I'm not 100% sure which way we'll go, but um, I'm sure the quicks will still do a great job. Obviously, reverse swing's a big thing in India as well, so um, we've got to be ready for that. Yeah, absolutely. It's you know, India's known to be a really tough place to keep at times. So, um, as I said, I've been doing probably a lot of work in the last four weeks on my keeping to, to prepare for this series. So I've got two games before the first Test match, which um, I think will be plenty to, to get used to conditions. So um, no doubt, a, a tough place to keep. I've been told uh, a lot of stories. So I'm looking forward to, excited to to take the challenge. Just for that matter, and what you should do in India. Yeah, I had a chat to Ian Healy uh, not so long ago, about a week ago, about keeping in India, and he said, yeah, no, to keep it really, really simple, obviously there are conditions that, that turn a lot, but, um, you know, in training to keep things pretty normal, you know, not do too much work on big spinning wickets because it can hinder your technique a little bit. So, um, you know, that's one thing that I'll be doing in the next few days is just making sure that I, I get my routine right and then uh, if I come across a big spinning wicket, then I'll have to deal with that at the time. Uh, obviously, to, to bat, you know, a long time would be great for our batters, especially a top five or six to, to get in and you know um, have a good long innings in these conditions. Get used to you know the, the heat, the wickets, those kind of things. That would be a great result. And then obviously we've got um, Peter and James Pattinson that haven't probably bowled as much uh, in in the last few months as what they'd like in games. So for them to get you know some overs under their belt in a game scenario is going to be very good for us. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Face a bit of spin, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I won't, go, I won't be going in thinking about that too much, obviously. Um, yeah, I'm the only keeper here, but if something did happen, I'm sure they can, they can get someone over really quickly within, you know, 24-hour turnaround. That's probably the reason that we've only gone with one keeper. It's not like the West Indies or England where it takes a long time to get over here. Um, if uh, something happens, fingers crossed, nothing happens to me. But if something happens, I'm sure they can get someone over here pretty quick. Yep. What is the player side of uh, Obviously, as players, we want to play as much as we can. That's what we're paid to do. We're paid to go out there and play cricket. So um, as players, we, we want to play as much as we can. But we, we fully understand you know, where Cricket Australia are going with the rotation system. I got rotated at the start of the one-day series and uh, towards the back end probably got the benefits of having five or six days off. There's so much cricket at the moment. So um, you know, in a place like India where it is so hot and the conditions are hard, I'm sure you know, the fast bowlers, it's going to be hard work for them to get through four tests in a row, especially uh, if you have to bowl long periods of time. So um, there's no doubt that's probably why we've got four or five, you know, quicks that could, can get, come in and out of our test team. Um, and, and I think that they know and they understand that um, if they have to bowl, like Peter Siddle had to bowl 38 overs at that late over, that it's hard to back up if there's only a few days in between test matches. And gamesmanship that's already mounted because of the results? Yeah, I think you know, ahead of the Australian series, there was a lot of people saying that about South Africa and Sri Lanka coming to Australia to play us. You know, it's a great time to come to Australia and play the Australian cricket team. So um, we use that, you know, to fuel our fire a little bit. So um, there's no there's no way that coming to India is easy any stretch. It's going to be a tough series, especially uh, in these conditions. So um, I'm not going to give any f any uh, fuel to fire there. So.